I'm my ancestor's dream come true. Yeah. yeah. Right? And I have a responsibility to make the most of the dream that came true because they would hope they'd, they'd live in America. That's number one. They hope they live in a, you know, a, a, they serve the military. That'd be another great hope. They, they now have a great house, a great family. Uh, uh, cars to drive. We were just talking about you. You, you take me to, to lunch in a, in a Lambo when you're in Dallas for me in a, in a Rolls yeah, Royce. Like, yeah. what kind of conversation is that? Right, <laughs> I, right. I used to yeah. take the bus growing up. Yeah, right. Yeah, and so that that's part of the associations and the discipline it takes to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Because yeah. when you're when you're constantly around the same guys and it's the same old conversation and nobody's growing, no, nobody's evolving, it's it's comfortable. Yeah, but you don't have to really evolve and grow. But at the same time, too, from a financial and economical standpoint or discipline standpoint, you're not going anywhere. Yeah, that, that's a beautiful thing. Now, why do you think that people, and this is, a, a, I don't know if it's a generation thing or they view money as almost like evil, like bad. Mm -hmm. You know, it's from a perspective that the second that you go out there and you uh you know you share your wins and your victories and you do it in a way that it's supposed to be maybe an inspiration for people yeah. not like hey you're flexing to be a dick about it yeah but hey i want others to know that listen i got here this way and you can do it too yeah they don't take it that way and they're yeah. like oh money they look down on it and it's what, what's worse what's that crappy mentality i don't think it's a generation thing i think it's a human thing I mean, if you look at 1 Timothy 6.10, you talk about the love of money. Money's just always been a tool, but people use it as status. I mean, think about this real quick. The, 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 the richest, one of the most highest income earning demographics in America is the black and brown community. But they're also the worst in terms of savings, the worst in terms of investing, the worst in buying insurance, but they're the best at spending. So some people, you have two ways to really look at money, right? You can look at money as a status symbol or you can use money as access. I like access because I'm able to invest in things that gets me to access resources that gets me to invest in other resources. Sure. Some people look at money, hey, I can buy this back. So today I was getting off the, off, off the plane. I got my bag, you know, my, you know, Samsonite, although I can buy a Louis. And this lady in front of me, she she brings her Louis back. Oh, fancy, fancy Louis stamps, whatever. You're. What's the point? We're in the same airplane. What does the, the does the Louis bag roll itself? Right. And you and the thing is, I've bought expensive stuff before, and then you get it. Like, what's the point? Matter of fact, it's less functional <laughs> than the damn Samsonite. <laughs> yeah. What's the point? Just so I can look good in first class, look good on the airplane, look good amongst my peers. Ooh, look at that bag. So the heck, what? Now there's other things that you might want to splurge on, but if it costs, I mean, to to have a Louis, to have Gucci, to have these different things. I, I say that right, uh, t uh, tongue and cheek, because I'm wearing a Gucci belt right now, right? But today, when I buy a Gucci belt, it's like buying a it's like buying a cheeseburger, uh, and 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 so so the point is so why wear it because I can't it doesn't break the bank for me. A lot of people are gonna come up, they use that money instead of investing in resources, they use it in, in status. Point. Yes, and it doesn't bring any value. Yeah.